Hey YouTube family, a long time no see, so much to update you guys on, so much. I'm doing good though, I'm doing good. I know the last video I said I was going to come back with a hair video, but then COVID, life happened, things happened, I never came back. But hey, <laughs> right now I've been, as you, most of you guys know, I worked in finance for well, my whole entire career, my whole entire career, and climbed that corporate ladder. But I've been home now for the past three weeks. I went on a three week vacation and then I was due to go back to work actually yesterday, Monday, and then I requested some more time off. So now I'm going on a leave of absence for another month or so. And then to be honest, after that, I don't think I might be returning. I probably won't be returning. So, given this is my official, unofficial announcement that. I quit my job, <laughs> yes. And there are many reasons behind it. Personal reasons, yes, but also for my well-being, my stress levels. So, it is what it is. Financially, I'm not really worried because I was in finance. I made a lot of great, not great, but good financial decisions over the years. I also worked other side hustles while I was in finance, so I am still teaching. If you guys are interested, I still teach kids in China English, one of my side hustles. I did a video about that a few months ago. I still make money from teaching, so I still have that job where I teach kids in China English. I still have my investment property where my tenants are still amazing. God, they're still paying. It's just the, my main source of income, which was my corporate job that I've had for. We ain't worried about that, we ain't worried about that. But on to bigger and better things. So I've decided, y'all. I'm going to start up two businesses at the same time. And who's going to stop me? The first one is I've started a virtual assistant business. The business name is called Nardia K Virtual Solutions because my name is really Nardia. My real name is Nardia. K for my middle name. Nardia K Virtual Solutions. And I've gotten a few clients already so far. The clients are pouring in. Like I started this business from scratch a few weeks ago. Took a course on it. And just started from scratch with just learning every single thing about being a virtual assistant. I built up my website. I built up my Instagram. I reached out to clients. I I just been working up all night, up late night. I'm up until late at night. And then I have to get up like 2 or 3 in the morning to start teaching. And then after I finish teaching, I'm up working on the business. And then taking care of my son who is now home because he's not going to school anymore because of remote learning. It's been crazy. I usually show it more on Instagram. If you guys are not following me at Kaya Journey. But yes, Nardia K Virtual Solutions is live. It's on its poppin. Check it out. I have an Instagram for it as well. Nardia K Virtual Solutions, the website, everything. I will link it all in the description bar. So if you need someone, if you know someone, or if you need a virtual assistant, let me know. All the information is on my website that I built myself. It's not perfect. But I did that and I'm still working at it. The next business adventure is I'm an artsy person. No, I cannot draw. But I love art. I love to create. I love to decorate. And I have an obsession for years now with stickers and planners. I've always had this obsession. Always. And I decided I'm going to start a sticker business. I just woke up and I said, even if this, I don't know what's going to happen out of it. I want to teach myself. Why not? So, I wanted to do like a stationary, sticker stationary business. I have a few things planned out and I have them on my vision board right there. Right there, just, you know. Vision board works wonders. Right there. And I'm going to make it happen. I don't know how to draw, but I've watched a lot of videos. And I'm passionate about stickers and planning and scheduling and planners and, and anything paper. And any kind of stationery and I'm going to create based on the things that I like and see what happens from there and that's the part I want to share with you guys I want to share that with you guys and also with me just to be a creative outlet and then maybe also if I struggle with something you guys can help me in the comment section with if you guys know about specific things and just to, to, to document my journey with that said, let me show you what I just got in the mail yesterday. Are you all ready? This is my Cricut Explore Air 2. So this literally came in the mail yesterday. I unpacked it. 
I created a little space for it over here, gave it a little setup situation, and this is it for now. I still haven't done any designs yet. I got all my materials to make the stickers and we're going to get this business on a pop. But that is all the updates for now. For now. Um, how are you guys doing with the work? How is it everything going with COVID? Like I, I just continually, my heart goes out to everyone that's dealing with the trauma of that. Like I've said, I've had a few deaths in my family and, but you know, I'm trying to see the bright side and this is a change. I knew I needed to get out of my finance job because stress was just a lot. And here I am. Here I am. <laughs> um, it is at this point where I realized I don't know how to draw. Like, you guys, I'm... I don't want to say frustrated. But I'm not an artist. So what kind of stickers am I going to create, you know? First of all, I'm in Procreate now. What size file, what size canvas do I use? High res, 5,000? Why 5,000? I don't even know what size canvas to use. We still... <laughs> all right. This time lapse video that I had on the channel. If you guys are interested in how to draw something like this using sketching and how to ink it, color. You guys, I created my first drawing. My first drawing that I'm going to test out. Lesson learned, you guys. Lesson learned. So the first time I printed them out in the regular printer, I printed on the wrong side of the sticker paper. I had the glossy side up when it should be down. So this is just a failure. But lesson learned. So I printed it out again and I understand that I have to put the glossy sticker side down in the printer. And this is what we got. This is my sticker sheet. So I don't know if I requested a kiss cut or a die cut. I don't know what kind of cut it's going to do, but we're going to find out. So let me put it on my Cricut mat now and put it in the Cricut and see what happens. They're very small, but they are stickers and they work. It's just, they're just too small. But that was the first take. Hey, it's a family. It's been a few days since my last, what you last saw, basically. <laughs> Today is Halloween, October 31st. If you celebrate, woo, happy Halloween to you. If not, then hey, it's just a regular day. So it's early in the morning as usual. And I'm down in the office. And essentially what I do is I usually wake up very early in the morning and I work on the sticker business. And I should have recorded it because I did some really cool things the past few days. But I just wanted to share with you guys my findings and share with myself for memories. Because it was a lot of trial and error. The first set of stickers I put, I just, let's not speak about them. The first set was just not what I was looking for. That is one tip I want to say. If anyone is looking to start a sticker business, it start off with cheap, cheap, inexpensive sticker paper that you know you will never sell to begin with. That's what I did because the sticker paper that I bought was from Amazon, very inexpensive. It is the online labels, regular matte sticker paper. I got a pack of 100 for about $17 and I'm going to use that and just trial and error and test things out until I get it the way I want it. So I do want to have kiss cut stickers, not die cut stickers. And what does that mean is that the die cut is the one that comes out entirely and you just it's like a sticker to itself and you put it on things. So this was my second test I did yesterday and it still came out die cut but I took the stickers off. These stickers are just random shapes that I just pulled from um, the internet. These are not things that I'm actually going to put in my sticker collection. They're just random shapes that I want to test to see how they print. Then I watched some more YouTube videos, <laughs> did more playing around with the Cricut function and stuff. I think I figured out how to get my dot kiss cut stickers, which are these, which is on one sheet and the stickers are there. When you peel it off, 
me show you. You see, you peel it off and the sheet still remains, which is what I want. So I was able to accomplish that yesterday. It took so many wasted paper, so many frustration and trial and error, but I did it. And I felt so proud when I did it. We made progress. Okay, what are we going to do today? Okay, you guys, are you ready? I have been thinking long and hard as to what my first round of stickers will be. And I know this is a short, to me it's a short time frame to get this done in, only because I've never done this before. But I want to create and design a Kwanzaa themed sticker pack. I chose Kwanzaa because we're in October now, but basically November tomorrow. And I will have one month to do it. I think I, I, think I can do it in one month. And everyone's going to have Christmas stickers, you know? Everyone is going to be have Christmas stickers. No offense to that. It's just that I want to have Kwanzaa stickers because it's not as common as the Christmas stickers. And it's something that's culturally important to me. I do celebrate Kwanzaa and I also celebrate Christmas. But Kwanzaa is con culturally ap appropriate and imp <laughs> Wait. Kwanzaa is culturally important to me. And I want to have stickers for the holidays and I want them to be Kwanzaa. So that's what I want to be doing, drawing my designs. Mind you, you guys, I can't draw. I cannot draw. You guys know this. I can't, I can't, I can't draw. So what I have been doing is, and so this is what I draw on. It has the pencil. It's just charging right now. And I use, I procreate to draw on this. And then what I do is I use my older iPad. This is the first, maybe the second generation iPad that ever came out in history of iPads. It's all cracked up. But I just use it to watch YouTube videos sometimes um, for different things. Sometimes it doesn't get used for months, and so I pull it back out to use it. And I also have my laptop in front of me. So what I do is I draw on this brand new iPad. But then I look, I have this open with images on Google. So I have the Google images open. And I look at this while I slowly draw on my iPad. There is a way for me in Procreate to pull these images into Procreate and trace over it, but I don't want to do that because I want it to be, even though I'm inspired by these images, I want it to be an, as original to my drawing as possible, not the exact replica of those images. So I just look at images and I take my time and I draw based on what I see. Take, it's a very long process because I can't draw, but I'm trying my best. And then in my laptop now, <laughs> if I need help or I struggle, I watch a YouTube video. Because yesterday, I had to watch a few YouTube videos about how to do layers, layer and procreate. So to draw one thing took me like hours, hours upon hours. I mean, it's looking good to me. I like it. It's not perfect because I'm not an artist and everything I'm doing, I'm teaching myself step by step. But I like it. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to continue drawing more images and see where that goes. Next, what I want to draw is this. Ooh, the dust. Whew. So my big bright idea is to just look at this and draw it. But I was sitting here and I, I just, I don't know, my brain it doesn't have the artistic vibe yet. I can't, I don't know, I can't look at this and draw it just yet. I'm not there yet. So... Put it down. The way that I've been doing it is if I look at a drawing, then I can do it. So I've pulled up some drawings on Google. And I'm just going to look at one of them and try to replicate it as best as I can in my own way. going good so far one problem that I find and that eventually I'm going to upgrade to is I need a bigger desk this is a very small laptop desk and just to fit these three things on the desk it's very hard you can't really see it but it's like this is the the laptop alone um, fills up the desk width and the length is not as long yeah but I'm excited this feels good it feels really good a part of me is like, I'm not going back to work. I'm not going back to the bank. Like, it's hitting me as I'm sitting here drawing, like, this is what I want to do. I don't want to go back. 
I don't want to go back to work for corporate. Am I making a decision right now? <laughs> Am I doing it right now on camera? This is what I want, to be home with my family, to create. And my personal business, Nardia K Virtual Creations. No, that's this. The other business, Nardia K Virtual Solutions. I am getting work from that, you guys. People are hitting me up. People are contacting me to become their virtual assistant. And I'm like, I can do this. I can build my business from home. And I can be happier. And that's important to me. Especially now. That is very, very important to me. I realized if I turn my light off, my ring light, you guys can see the images better. Duh. <laughs> so this is what I was able to get so far. I still have to go over it and, um, you know, fine tune it. But this is just a sketching layer. And then I go over it and I really sit down and fine tune it. But I think it's kind of cute. What do you guys think? And I think it goes with the theme of everything else. We're getting there. We're getting there. It took me about, you know, a good hour and a half to draw that. But, you know, I used my images from Google. And I had a video playing. So we're getting there. Are you guys excited? Let me turn the light back on. For the Kwanzaa sticker pack. Too bright. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Are you guys excited? What do you guys think? Please let me know below. What do you guys think about this Kwanzaa sticker pack idea? At some point, I have to open up an Etsy shop, don't I, right? On my list of things to do. Do you guys want to get a good laugh? I turn off the light again to show you guys something. So now the next thing I want to draw are the gift boxes. I'm going to decorate them with a culturally appropriate decoration, of course. But I don't even know how to draw a gift box, you guys. Look what I have to pull up on Google. Oh, you can't say it. But it's basically step by step how to draw a gift box. Like step one, draw a square. Step two, draw another square. Step three, draw another. There we go. Step by step. Until you get to a gift box. The struggle is real. I'm embarrassed to say, but I gave up that that gift box took me out no matter how much I tried I couldn't I couldn't do it so I'm gonna leave that for another day why did that simple gift box take me out it's just square it's I, I just get it so instead of wasting my time I'm gonna be more productive and move on embarrassing but I don't care I'm sharing it with you guys I'm still shocked like I still can't believe that mat took me out not the mat the gift box just really just all right keep going all right, people, I think I'm gonna end the little vlog here. It is now 9.17 and I'm finished with the first set of designs and it is a fire. Absolutely love it. Like, I can't show the rest of it because I just wanna keep some things to myself, some things secret. But I love it, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It is really good. It is, I'm excited, I'm so excited, I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, I've been here down here since a few hours now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About five hours? It's a slow process for me because like I said, I can't, I'm not really an artist. So I have to look at images and draw and trace, but I'm done. That's my little update, that's what it is, that's what I'm doing. Hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon to follow you up on the process. And that's it. Bye.